how do you customize Mac folders, the little folder icons that you have, and how do you actually customize the names on those folders? That's what we're gonna find out today. All right, so if you're someone like me, one of the cool things of having a Mac is kind of customizing it, because everyone's got, you know, the thing about Macs are they're almost all the same, right? So you can't really customize the outside of it like an iMac or something. You can't do that. But what you can do is you can definitely customize more of the internals of it. So for instance, let's say you have specific folders all around your desktop. You guys all know the little blue, little blue folders that you always see. How do you change those folders into something that's more meaningful than those little blue folders? You know, just to have some, you know, brighten up your day or have, you know, like a, let's say it's movies, like maybe you want a little movie reel next to it for the folder. We can do that. And it's very easy. I'm going to show you how to do that today, number one. Number two is if you don't want to go through, you know, creating new icons, although you can download them, which I'll show you. But if you don't want to do that, you can actually do something a lot simpler and just use emojis. And you can use emojis to kind of put little icons next to the file names. And then it, I'll show you how that's going to look here in a second, but it definitely brightens up everything. It makes things look a lot brighter, like saying, you know, it's easier to go down your list really quickly of folders and names and, and different uh, folder names and find out what they're actually used for. I mean, I recommend coming up with maybe a scheme when you first get a Mac so you know like all my images are going to look like this. And I'll go through what I mean by this, but you'll see kind of how it comes out. It definitely helps you visually see what each folder contains and we can kind of go through everything, you know, and, and just show you, is there a huge advantage to it? Maybe not, but does it look cool? I think so. So at the end of the day, what I want to show people is just a couple easy ways to kind of customize your desktop with the files and folders. And uh, it takes literally, I would say, 30 seconds to learn. Let's get into it. All right, so here's my desktop, and you can take a look at this. I've created two sample folders. You can go ahead and see that they're empty. There's nothing really in them. But everyone's used to these kind of blue folders, and they always, you know, anywhere you put them on your desktop, they all look the same. So one easy way to kind of like just spice these up a little bit, let's just say you have a pictures icon here. Um, or a pictures folder, what you all, all, all you want to do is you can click on the actual uh, pictures title here, just click on it with your mouse, click return, that'll highlight it. And then what you want to do is you want to click down, control, command, and spacebar, just like that. And it's going to bring up the emojis. So all you can do then here in here is you can actually look, you know, obviously pictures, let's just look for maybe a camera. And there's an icon there, so click that. And look at that. So it'll actually put the little icon in there. And you can go back in there if you want. And uh, you can go ahead and just rename it. And you can add some text after that. So if you just want to add pictures back, you can go ahead and do that. I actually just erased it accidentally. But take a look at that. So now it's got like a little icon there. It looks like a little camera for pictures. Same thing with finance. So go ahead and you click on it. Click on the return button. Control, command, space bar. It's going to bring up the emojis. For something like this, maybe, you want to do money. So we'll search for that. Let's click this here. There it is. And then we can type in, oops. And there you go. Or finances, I'm sorry. In any case, you get the idea. So basically, now you have these folders, and they have these little emojis tied to them. But it does make it a little bit easier to identify them, which is nice. So that's really my first tip. Okay, so here's tip number two. Let's just say that you want to get rid of these blue folders. The little emoji icon didn't do it for you. You want to have really clear folders that are different than those, these blue ones everywhere. You can easily do that. The first step is to actually go online. Now, there's a lot of different sites. Make sure they're reputable. I'm not, re I'm not recommending any sites. I found this at Ar Icon Archive. But in here, they have a bunch of different Mac folders and stuff. You can highlight them, and you can click on PNG and download them. You can also create your own. Just make sure that they don't. They make sure that they do have transparent backgrounds, and they can get sizing information and stuff online but you can create them yourself or you can just go to sites like this and download them but that's the easy part so let's go in here all right so once they're actually downloaded you can actually go into here and you can find them in here and all you have to do basically is you want to go ahead and just click on the folder or I'm sorry on the actual file that you just downloaded you want to right click and then you want to open with preview see it there it's going to open up this preview window and that's the first step so once you're in this preview window all you have to do is you have to click command a it's going to select everything if you can see it there then Command C, and it's going to copy this. All right, so let's we have that copied. Now you go to the folder. This is an Apple Docs. So I'm going to go ahead and click that folder. Right click on it. Click Get Info right there. It's going to bring open this window over here, which gives you information about this this folder. Click on the folder. See it up here. Click on that. You're going to see it highlights blue. And then all you have to do is just click Command V, which is going to be to paste that folder on there. See that it just changed it right there. Now this folder's red, and that's, look at that. So there it is. 
It's got the little Apple icon, it's red, it's totally identifiable. I'm gonna put that over there, that's, that's step one. So here's the second folder, just really quickly, I'll do it again. So for this folder, it's important. I wanna have a folder that looks important so I don't you know, accidentally get rid of it because it's always blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead to my finder. This is the one I wanna choose for that. So I highlight it again, right click on it. I'm gonna open with preview, just like I did before. Let's just get rid of this, just so we can keep track of everything. So what did I say? You wanna go ahead and you know make sure this is highlighted and you wanna click Command A. That's gonna highlight everything. Command C, it's gonna copy it. Then go over here, right click, get info. It's gonna move this window open. Highlight this like right here, this icon, and then click Control V and there it is. And I'm gonna shut this down and shut that down. And there's my two folders that are brand new. They're a little bit smaller. You can make them as big as you want, as small as you want, but look at that. They totally stand out on the screen compared to everything else. It's a great way to start. Just do fresh, when you get a fresh computer like this, just do brand new folders for all your important docs and just visually you're gonna see them a lot better. And that's my tip. So what did you think? Not too bad, huh? It's very, very easy. Always you know, take files and folders and stuff and make them into something that's more meaningful. I gotta actually admit that I don't take the time to do it because I have so many different devices that I always am selling and buying and just doing videos with. So I don't usually spend enough time on one of them to actually make these icons like this. But if I was, if I was actually gonna take the time and do this, I would really you know, try to start from the very beginning when I get a new device and make sure all my files and folders are clearly marked in folders that I can easily recognize and keep, keep things very organized. I mean, we've all been in situations where you get a computer and things just kind of get away from you. And then at the end of the whole thing, you know, you're kind of looking for files and folders and it's just too, too hard to fix and you're just like, whatever, I'm just gonna put all everything in one folder and just find it later. That's usually what happens with a lot of people. And that's kind of what this helps with, it helps you you know, mentally know where things should go by looking at the icons and looking at the names, seeing the emojis next to them if you don't wanna go ahead and change folder icons. Yeah, is it a big help? Maybe not for some people, but it's kind of cool. Kind of, you know, lets people see that you have a kind of a different device and maybe you just put some fun things on there that mean something to you. I mean, maybe some pictures or something from a trip you took or something, whatever you wanna do. So at the end of the day, if you guys can support my channel, it's gonna definitely help me out. I make a couple of videos per week. You guys just go ahead and check my channel out. A lot of Apple stuff, some PC stuff, and, and everything else, I even done some travel stuff. So check out my channel, um, and uh, hopefully you can click the like button and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.